Hey y'all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the banks of the mighty Mississippi. More specifically, Hannibal, Missouri. Even more specific than that, I'm in front of the boyhood, oh there it is, boyhood home of Mark Twain. One of America's most iconic, probably the most iconic and legendary authors. Kind of someone who has helped paint what America is in the, the, the minds of so many people. I've noticed traveling all the wax museums of the country, I would say Mark Twain, next to maybe like Jesus and Abraham Lincoln, is the most common wax figure that you'll find in, in virtually any wax museum. But we're gonna head inside and check out uh, Mark Twain's boyhood home, as well as some of the other famous uh, characters and locations here in Hannibal, Missouri. Follow me. This Tom Sawyer's fence, where he tricked all the other kids into whitewashing by convincing them that it was so much dang fun. Look at this, you can even whitewash the fence yourself because it's so much fun. Oh boy, I sure love whitewashing. I remember as a little child reading a children's version of Tom Sawyer and not understanding the whitewashing part and then my dad demonstrated it by actually making me want to clean. So reverse psychology, it's a powerful, powerful weapon. Perhaps a dark, depressive streak. This was a monument the town was going to build to Mark Twain, but the Great Depression hit and it never got built. See a lot of things going on, and then right in the middle, Mark Twain, Tom Sawyer. Check it out, Mark Twain Pepsi machine. I guess Mark prefers aqua peanut. All right, headed over to Huck Finn's house. Okay, so apparently Huck Finn was based on a real person named Tom. Tom Sawyer was based on Mark Twain himself. So it's called the, the Huck Finn House, which is a fictional character. It's not called the Tom Blankenship House, which is interesting. I wonder what it feels like to have a fictional character based on you that um, has, has, has outgrown you, has become more popular than you. Interesting feeling. All right, headed into the actual Mark Twain house. Oh, and there we have Mark Twain playing with paper dolls. I guess maybe he's using these paper dolls to write his stories. There's Mark Twain's piano and his plate of delicious cookies. It's kind of a ghostly apparition of Mark Twain. No, I am by no means any sort of Mark Twain historian, but I just love this quote, a man's experience of life are a book. There was never yet in an uninteresting life such a thing is an impossibility. It says this is a slave pallet for slaves sleeping on, that's like a, that's just like a doormat. That's, that's horrible. There's Mark Twain in his boyhood room. And there's Tom Sawyer slash Mark Twain. Looking out the window, there's the trademark hat right there. Uh, I just need to be careful though, because someone left marbles laying on the floor. That is, that's just dangerous. It's interesting, there's the ever-present Mark Twain in every room. In this room we have Mark Twain gazing out the window. And he's actually looking at his father's law office. I'm torn. Should I buy the Mark Twain smoking plushie? The Mark Twain bobblehead. What's that? Yeah, I was 
a mock-up of the classroom that they would have learned in. And here are some of these sticks that they would have been beaten with. Uh, what's this? Tri punishment 1850 style. You can write lines. That's, that's still pretty normal. A dunce cap. <laughs> that's humiliating. Oh, you can balance on a block for two hours. Or you can just have the crap whipped up. It says poor boys and orphans were in survival mode. They were interested in things to live with on their own. Like pipes to smoke with. And knives to stab with. Oh, there's an old fishing pole. Mark Twain for president. Might be a good idea if he wasn't really, really dead. This Clemens shop actually looks pretty interesting. Check out these steampunk dog people. So all the museums and Mark Twain houses are connected with one ticket. Um, most of them are on that end of Hannibal, but then you gotta walk all the way down to Main Street, and then apparently there's a museum, museum down there. Lydia's Cabinet of Curiosities? Sounds interesting. Oh my gosh, here we have it. The Hannibal, Missouri, Fiji Mermaid. Also have a bearded midget, and a mummified something or other. Oh, there's a, there's a puffin. That's charming, it's a cuckoo clock made of bones. I'm afraid of what might pop out. All right, here it is, the Mark Twain Museum. And here's Mark Twain reading his books to his own fictional creations, Tom Sawyer and Huck Finn. Looks like Tom Sawyer's paying attention, but Huck Finn couldn't give a hoot. All right, this is actually pretty cool. You can actually go in the books themselves here you have the adventures of Huckleberry Finn chapter one. I guess we're headed into this super spooky cave. Uh, what's in there? <gasps> Who's that? And uh, right, okay, that one's not so bad. Right there, and then, what is that? What is that? Is there any more American way to be honored than to be made into a Cabbage Patch doll? It's this lovely penny farthing bike next to this massive cranium of Mark Twain. It's one of Mark Twain's famous white suit jackets. There is Mark Twain's top hat and um, this is really sad, but that is the death mask of his son, uh, Langdon, who died at 19 months. It's one of the personal items. There's his pipe and two of his pocket watches. Now this room is pretty amazing here. You can overlook the Mississippi River right there, and you can pretend to be a boat captain and turn the boat wheel. Also, you can make a good old toot. Where is a better place to eat in Hannibal, Missouri than the Mark Twain dinette? Check out that old converted frosty top root beer mug. Mark Twain dinette. All right, we got this awesome, massive looking pork tenderloin sandwich and a homemade root beer. Mm. It's good. And here's a statue in Hannibal of the two lovable scamps, Tom Sawyer and Huck Finn. Now if you remember from the museum, they had originally planned to make this massive uh, statue dedicated to Mark Twain himself. Never quite took off, but in a, a, a few miles outside of town, someone took it upon themselves to realize part of this dream. Let's go check that out. And here we have it. The man, the myth, the legend, Samuel Clemens, better known as Mark Twain. That is very large.
So there you have it, a trip through the homeland of Samuel Clemens, a.k.a. Mark Twain and his fictional band of little scallywags. Appreciate you guys watching. If you like these videos, please check down in the description. There is an interactive map that'll show you all the places I've been and all the places I haven't been that you can tell me I need to go to. Also, if you'd like to help contribute to this channel, there's a t-shirt shop in the description as well, as well as a Patreon link. If you would like to send at least $3 a month, I'd be happy to send you postcards on my journeys. Of course, any bit of money helps. But for now, this one's in the bag.